So in order to create a new project nowadays and since 2022, vit.js is a great tool to use. So simply go to vit, the vit.js site. It will usually be the first result of Google. And then you can simply click on get started. And from here, you can simply copy this uh, command that will allow you to create a project. And then you will have to answer just a couple of questions. So let's go to this sandbox folder that I use to create all my side projects and my proofs of concept. And by clicking on Control Shift and right click, I can open a PowerShell window here. But if you want to use uh, the terminal in Linux or Mac OS, it's absolutely possible. It's even better because you will see that at some point it will be hard to see some options. So, because it's written in blue and blue, you will see that in a second. So simply paste npm create fit at latest. Now it's asking you for a project name. Let's go for week of movies 2023. Uh, simply this app will allow you to plan the movies you want to watch on a specific week so you don't waste time every evening looking for the, a movie that uh, that you could watch then let's select vanilla but you could create a view app a react app this one is blue and blue so it's very difficult to see uh, web components svelte or others so of course we will go for vanilla js because it will be the opportunity to learn enough javascript the minimum javascript you need to know before switching to react so vanilla vanilla what vanilla javascript or typescript this today we will go for javascript even though in 2023 i very often use typescript but to make it simple simpler at least we'll go for javascript and it's done already now you can see we have this week of movies project and you can just open it with Visual Studio Code. So I'll just turn off all these uh, GitHub Copilot options that we don't need right now. Oh, uh, I should have mentioned that uh, you need then to npm install the, this one dev dependency package, which allows you to install Vite, because then when you want to run this app in development mode, you need to npm run dev, which will use this Vite command. So you need to npm install it before that. So let's open the terminal terminal new terminal and now you can npm install just like that okay you see it took only 10 seconds on this computer that is already five years old so it's uh, pretty fast now you can npm run dev npm run dev just like that and now you can go to localhost port 5173 right click or command click it if you're on a Mac and now you can see this app and this beautiful counter so we can also display the developer tools by going to more tools developer tools and we can see we just have a warning because of a Chrome extension that I have and you will see during the recording sometimes I even have an error caused to one Chrome extension so this has nothing to do with uh, the app itself so that's how you generate an application fast and efficiently.